Hello friends! If you're watching this video, then you are finally done with all of the things in your brochure. All you have left to do is to format it. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So, we'll start with the title page. So, first of all, you don't need this thing up here that says title page. So you'll just go ahead and get rid of that. And then, really this is all however you want to do it. So if you want to make it spaced, or if you want this border here, you can, or you can even fill in this box. But I'm going to show you a couple different things that we can do. So I'll show you how to fill in the box. You highlight the box, and then there's this little icon right here that kind of looks like a paint bucket. And you're going to press the down arrow and pick a color. So in my case, my favorite color is purple. So then if you do that, then the background of the pictures will be purple. And that's how you do the first one. But you want to make sure that your title page has only your title and only your author and then a picture. That is all you want on your title page. The next one, as you can see, it moves some of the space down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this inside page number one because it is not needed. And then you're going to press back until the picture is at the top of the page. Then you can press enter down here to make sure that's at the bottom of the page. And you can do the same thing for this one. So just like space out your words. I'm going to fill in this box again. And there you go. You'll do the same thing. You just want to get rid of all these inside pages and make sure that's all spaced out well. And you could fill in the boxes. You don't even need to fill the boxes if you don't want to. This is totally up to you. This is your freedom. You just want to make sure you get rid of all of these unnecessary things. And you just want to make sure that it's spaced out and that everything has its own page. That is very important. You don't want it to confuse the readers. And then for this back page, I would go ahead and write on there citations just because it's going to be kind of confusing if you just have random authors on there. And there you go. And then if you remove this space, you should be able to... There we go. So make sure it's all perfect and then you want to proofread it. So with proofreading, you just want to read it all to yourself. I prefer to read it out loud because then I will catch mistakes I made. So you're going to read all your sentences, make sure that they're in perfect sentences and that they make sense to you, format it however you want it, and then when you're done, then it's time to send it to me.